Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation coming at you with another tutorial video. And today we will be showing you guys how to boot your computer into the Windows recovery environment. So it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is hold down shift while restarting. So I'll open up the start menu now, hold down shift, hit power, then you hit restart. And you keep holding down shift while it boots. And there you go. You have the Windows, the Windows recovery environment. And here you can see that you can not use the keyboard. So you can turn off your PC. You can use this device to try and recover your Windows if it's not working. And then there's a troubleshoot here. And then there's, of course, there's the exit if you got here by accident. Now, if you go to troubleshoot, it gives you a couple different options. This reset your PC is really nice because this allows you to reset your PC if it's not booting or if it's not working after a Windows update. And then you can do keep my files or remove everything. And then you can hit the back arrow there, and then there's more advanced options here. You can uninstall updates. You can change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware. You can do a system restore, which is the most useful thing after a Windows update is broken. You can uh, access the command prompt. You have a couple different startup options, and you can do a startup repair. And there's a couple more, uh, there's one more recovery option. And here you can use a system image to bring your computer back as well. All right. That is the first way to access your recovery environment. Next, you can hit continue. So the second way to access the Windows recovery environment is to go to your settings. And then you will go to privacy and security. And then you will go to Windows update. You'll scroll down to advanced options. Scroll down some more to recovery. And then here it says advanced startup. Restart your device to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or USB drive. And then you can hit restart now. And then you'll hit restart now. And just like that, we're back at the Windows recovery environment. Those are the two ways that you can access the Windows recovery environment if your computer is not booting correctly or is just simply not working. And with that, I do believe that is the end of our tutorial on how to boot into Windows Recovery Environment. Let us know down in the comments if there's anything else you would like us to do a tutorial over next, and we will go ahead and catch you guys next time.